Ashley Temple, owner and operator of Tornado Transport and proud lucrative partner of Cloud Trucks. So, welcome to Cloud Trucks Academy. This is the energy. Do not attempt to adjust your screen. All right, a little bit about myself. I am a 23-year veteran in this industry. Um, I always wanted to drive tractor trailers. So, since I was 12 years old, I knew that this is what I wanted to do. So, being the only girl is very difficult when your dad's like, no, 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 it's not going to happen. But here we are. So, I made my first full year just recently being an owner-operator. And it has been and continue to be great. It will be great for years and years to come. Because success depends on you. It's not about anything else but you. So, I raised six children. Um, I was born in New York originally. I raised six children. Put two through medical school and um, they are all grown now so I'm just doing what I have to do and I am very honored to have this opportunity to kind of teach and reach out to other people so that you guys hopefully you might learn something from me today hopefully hopefully okay so we are going to talk about today um, how to focus on a profitable business running as an owner operator okay and how i found success and how to profit and figure out what you need to do kind of tweak some things in the industry with yourself and the company okay so um while i was running for a company i was the only driver that was self-dispatched so that created a lot of opportunity mentally for me to figure out how i was going to do certain things how it should be done, how to talk to customers, how to talk to shippers. And it just trickled on to when I was now my own boss that now it's just like an easy transition. Not everybody has that. So I am very glad to do this video for you guys. All right, let's talk about how do we transition into being a company driver and then being an owner operator. The transition has to happen mentally first. Let me just say that. You have to have the mindset that this is what I want to do. This is how I want to run. This is how I want to make my money. This is what I want people to see when they see my truck and business name. And I'm partnered with Cloud Trucks. And this is how I'm going to be successful. The first thing is probably time management. Time management is one of the best things you can do, but it can be your worst enemy. Okay. So, me running the way I run. Um, I tend to run back to back. So I will run one load and let's say I'm going to Tennessee. If I have never been to that customer, then I will, when I go on the load board and I pick the load and I'm looking at it and I see it delivers the next day or whatever day and it's an early morning delivery, I begin to start then looking for my next load, meaning I know I'm going to be empty in Chattanooga, Tennessee at 8 a.m. So my next load, if I want to pick up that same day, just to pick up and go a little bit of ways or pick up and then rest, then I know I need a load with an open window. So that is my one tip. Um, try to do however you need to do. And for the people who don't like to run like that, um, you can run one day and then run the next day. But make sure that it's time management. Make sure that you are having enough time to stop, enough time to rest enough time to get loaded and unloaded, maybe enough time to sweep out your trailer, um, enough time to make sure your hours are going to be up to par, and make sure that you are not stretching yourself to where it becomes stressful, because it is all about you. So I think that the hardest part of becoming an owner-operator from my point of view was getting and locking in several brokers to work with. So once I booked the load and got in contact with that broker, I let them know, hey, um, if you have this lane running often, or, you know, this is where I like to run. I, run. I like to run Virginia, Georgia, Tennessee, Florida, and lock my number in. Give me a call if you ever have, you know, any loads going that way, and I'll see if I'm available. And then, boom, instant customer service. You got a new instant friend that can help you make some money, and that's what we're all about, okay. So, now, as far as maintenance is concerned, I try to keep everything on the up and up. I'm always checking my oil, always checking my fluids. Of course, you're supposed to do that. But there's certain things that you have to realize. Me running over the mountains a lot, I tend to bring my truck in for more maintenance or more checks than the average driver because sometimes it's hard on the truck. 
So you want to make sure that you have what you need in a separate maintenance account so that you never have to fall short of what needs to be done in order for you to make money. So therefore, let's get down to the fuel. Huh. How do we make sure that we're making a profit? Um, when COVID happened and then afterwards, the fuel went up, of course, and it was very difficult. So I had to create some kind of plan as to where I am not going in the hole. So my plan is this, and you can feel free to follow or come up with your own, whatever works for you. So at the beginning of the week, I am willing to take a pay cut because I normally set my minimum at $3 a mile before I move my truck, okay? Now, I am willing to negotiate like the first part of the week when I'm going out. If I know that the loads are just major down south, I will take that cut and take that hit to go down south just because I know when I get there, the loads are in abundance. So I'll take the hit just to get me down south. And after that, I'm running, 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 doing however I want to do. Now, that being said, I plan my loads according to how things are going. If the fuel is really, really high and the rates are really, really low and it's not evening out, it's not matching up, I will then run a little closer, so that means less fuel, and it will mean less money compared to going farther, but when you really pinpoint it, it's not really less money, so you're going farther for more money, but you're spending more money on fuel. You have to figure out what expense is going to take the most from your profit, and if it means that you have to run local and then maybe pick two or three days to run long, it's fine and dandy. Let's talk about the weather. If it is hot outside, you got to take some things into consideration. Where I'm going, am I going to have to run my truck all night because it's hot and I need AC or is it really cold and I need the heat? That factors into a lot of where I run and how I run. Also, preparing your meals before you leave. Um, we're not stopping at every truck stop. <laughs> we're not spending 20 bucks a pop every time we stop because that's not going to do anything but take money from us. Or we're not going to starve, but we're going to make sure that we have food when we leave. And we're going to make sure that we have where we want to stop and what we want to eat and make sure that we're not overspending just because we're like, I'm an owner operator and it's my money and I'm going to do what I want to do. It's not going to be lucrative in the future. Okay. So that being said, I think that Everything according to the way you want to run in your business just kind of depends on how you plan it, what you're running, and what extra expenses are being taken out. We don't run long for double the money if over half of that money is going to come out in fuel. So we want to be smart about it. We want to plan. We want to execute the plan. And we want to be safe. And we want to be the best thing that people see all day because we want to represent not only ourselves, but the whole industry as a whole and cloud trucks because we want to make sure that that customer says, you know, I, I like that driver. So when you call the broker again, they've already gotten those good reports. And when you see those people again, they know you're always smiling. They know that you're never having a bad day. And if you are, it's not going to show here because we leave everything outside of the truck until we get back outside the truck. Just another tip. I think that one of the things that I tend to do is the weeks that I know my truck node and the biggest part of my bills, my truck insurance and everything is coming out. The weeks prior to that and after that, if it's one once a month or bi-weekly, um, you figure out how to run around that. So I might run and I do run um, a little bit harder, a little bit longer the week before I know the bills are going to be coming out so that way I don't have to stress that week and I don't have to put extra stress on myself mentally um, or financially regardless of whether I already have it or not. So that's just another tip um, that you might want to do as well. Do not try to be road runner, 30 plus year experience if you don't have it or you don't possess the ability to run the way you like to run. Take it slow and easy the first time. Pick loads that you can actually run and get done without the stress and make your money. So basically, if you're going to pick a load and the load doesn't pay what you want to pay, then you might find joy in one of my methods, which is let's just pick Charlotte, North Carolina. If I'm going down to Charlotte, North Carolina, I might run a load down to Charlotte, North Carolina, but the way that the Cloud Trucks app is set up, 
so beautifully. I can just run down there and then I'll switch the app to running local. So I might run down to Charlotte, but I might run local in Charlotte for like two days and then I'll run back and hit a New Jersey or something like that. So you have to figure out what works for you as far as the money, the loads, where you're going to go and make sure you have your timeline of how long you're willing to stay out. Don't stay out for six days if you really only want to stay out for three. Plan accordingly, okay? So as you get more and more into the game and more and more into the industry, more and more into being comfortable with not only talking to the brokers, but dealing with the customers, dealing with the shippers, dealing with the different tracking apps, keeping the communication lines open, then you will see that your experience will then determine your success. I think that we've about covered everything. If you have any comments or questions, please drop them below. And we will get back and try to answer as much as we can, as fast as we can. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope that you have learned something on this special edition about how to run a profitable trucking business. I am once again, Angelique Temple. And I want to say, welcome to the Cloud Trucks family. And if you have not signed up yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. But anyway, success in the way the app, the support team, the safety team, and the way Cloud Trucks has everything set up, it is inevitable for success. But like every puzzle, there's always something missing. So they have a great platform and it's so lucrative, but if something's missing, that's you. So let's get this thing started and I will see you on the road. Until then, be safe, be careful, and welcome to the family. <laughs>